Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we will dissect my entire Forex trading system so that you can copy me and also start profiting over 100 pips per month. So stay tuned. Okay, hi guys, and I have one note before we dig in into the content. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, smash that like button, hit that a subscribe button and smash that bell button so that you can help almighty YouTube algorithm to rank the videos such as this one so that we can help as many people as possible. And with that being said, let's dig straight into the my trading system, uh, which is also popular called bada bim bada boom system, as you can see right there here <laughs> in the headline. And what I want to talk about here is basically I want to show you what I trade why I traded, how I ended up having this system, and what was the journey, what you got to do to, you know, to have a final result uh, trading system, which could obviously be the same as this one if you, ha if you have same eyes like I do, but um, it will probably be very similar. But having a system, having a spreadsheet, having this kind of results uh, gives you confidence so that you can go out there and trade it actually live. Uh, okay, so what my system consists of, it's actually six pairs and I, ha I will open them right there. It's uh, Aussie CAD, Aussie Dollar, Euro Dollar, Pound Yen, Pound Dollar, New Zealand Dollar is actually not in my trading portfolio yet and it's the USD CAD. From all of these pairs, besides the New Zealand dollar, I have backtested Bats and Gartley's for all of them, as you can see, and on some of them, I added ciphers. However, in the current portfolio, I don't have, I don't have ciphers. As if, if we go here, you will not find ciphers. I only added Bats and Gartley's because I'm still not uh, finished with my ciphers back testing so first things first uh it took me over a year my entire 2018 was spent without me putting a single live trade on my capital uh, i was just you know digging and going through the markets candle by candle and uh basically writing down all of these data okay uh, this is filtered data okay this is not raw data Raw data doesn't look as nice as this is. Some pairs are actually netting me a minus 100 pips or so. And then after I filter them, then they produce around 300, 400 pips uh, during the five year period. And let, let me actually show you, for example, I, I will take a pair. I think the pound dollar, pound dollar bat is not, uh, okay, this is, is actually a very good example uh, how when you backtest a bunch of stuff you can end up uh, you can end up having a bad results okay so I, I think we will feel we will include all of it okay okay this is not filtered okay so let's see data refresh all okay still didn't change let's see this there we go. Refresh all. I think the uh, this needs to GBP USD bad. Okay, basically I think that over 101 trade. Let's see this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, everything is included. Is it? Yes. So over pound dollar uh, in the five year period it just gave me 231 pips and a win rate of 47 percent, which is not you know, very good. It's not very helpful. The data that I know uh, that I wrote down is basically the, you know, the, the standard stuff, the pair, the chart interval, trading system, type of entry, long, short, entry price, stop loss, targets, all, all of that stuff. And then I also, the candle before my entry candle, is it overbought, oversold based on the 3070 RSI or end overbought, oversold based on 2080. Uh, is the XD divergence, what is the level for C lag, etc, etc, you know, and the results are 231 pips, and they're not, 
I wasn't happy. I was actually feeling pretty much frustrated with these kind of results. However, when you go to the backtesting tune-up and when you put all of this stuff here, you kind of end up having much more better results. So let's see. First, well, part of my... Uh, 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 I'm giving you sneak peek be be before I shoot. Okay, so we have these results, which shows us that we are netting, netting 231 pips, which you know some people can make in a month. Some people are claiming that I can make it e each and every day, but whatever. My system, bats and pound dollar made it, to, made 231 pips over five years. Obviously, I was not happy with it. But then the filtering comes in, and as you can see here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. So as you can see here, so general rules for my system is on all of the pairs that I'll be uh, filtering the trades which are over 75 pips. Okay, so if I remove everything uh, where I have a risk, where I risk more than 75 pips, where my stop loss is 75 pips or more uh, beyond my entry point. So if I remove this trades, Let's see this. I have one here. The, the results changed a little bit, okay? But then this was not good enough. I'm sleeping like seven to eight hours, six to eight hours per day, each and every day. So my times when I'll be able to trade will probably be from six in the morning GMT because all of my data is in GMT until 5 p.m., okay? So putting this in now makes this system makes me 715 pips, but yet I think that we can improve it a little bit more. So uh, let's check out the overbought and oversold conditions. So if you put zeros here, we make a little bit more pips, okay? But if it's zero, let's see what 2080 RSI gives us. We put zero, boom, 912 pips. Okay, can you see this? So what we said here is that basically what we want to do is we want to take trades on pound dollar bats on our one, only the trades that are, let's see, are we going to take, no, okay, so. Uh-huh, no, this. Just, I'm just a second. I'm just playing. I know this was not planned. I would. I just want to show you how it this actually looks like live when you're backtesting. Okay, so the results are in. So we want to take trades that are not overbought or or oversold on the RSI when we are looking at a level of 20 and 80. Every trade, if, if the candle before we got to our entry point goes overbought or oversold, we should not take the entry, we should close our pending orders, and we should only take trades where the entry, when the candle previous to the entry candle uh, ends up being at, you know, at this time period, you know? And if it if it did if it didn't go overbought or oversold, then we can engage in a trade. Otherwise, we we will not engage in a trade. So, the this simple example shows you shows you how you can easily change not highly profitable system into very much very highly profitable system. Basically, this this few tweaks shows shows you how we filtered the bad trades, how we only are waiting for the quality trades because we know what we can expect from the trades. And so basically we were netting 230 pips and now we, what, quadrupled the results. You know, almost five times, we, all, we almost have five times the better results. Uh, the results that we were producing in, in five years, now we are producing each and every year, which is pretty decent. But let's go back to our trading system. So after, I filtered all of my peers uh, going through, uh, you know, playing with this overbought, oversold uh, time periods. My entire system is basically trading from 6 in the morning until 5 p.m. Besides pound yen, pound yen, I can only trade from 6 in the morning until 1 p.m. 
and that that changes that 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 gives me like 700 more pips that filter that I can only trade it until 1 p.m. my time. Some other traders might trade it differently because they can find some other filters more useful, but based on what I backtested, based on the things that I wrote down in those Excel spreadsheets, this is uh, what you know what my system is actually producing. So it's actually producing 7,100 pips over you know four to five years, over 480 trades roughly and my profitability is 55%, which means that out, out of the 100 trades, I will probably win 55 times, five times, I will it will be scratch or, you know, uh, I will not hit winners nor losers, I will just have to close a trade based on some other factors, and 40% uh, of times, I will hit a loser. Max consecutive losing strike is six trades, so I can go and lose six trades in a row without being without within those rules that I have right here is something in the five year period uh, that happened so in the five years I only had maximum of six losing trades in a row uh, now let's go and check out the money management thing so let's say sorry guys so let's say that my starting account equity is ten thousand dollars and that, that my maximum acceptable drawdown is 10%, uh, that I will increase my lot size each and every $3,000 that I make for 10 micro lots, because this is micro here, and my uh, start size will is uh, 16 micro lots on $10,000. I will return this, this system right there in front of you with the proper money management will return 182% uh, within this time period, which is like four to five. It's actually like five, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. And parts of the, some pairs were also back tested in 2018, so roughly five years. So that means that around 30 something percent, I can return with this system. And I'm gonna use this system and I'm going to forward test it with the life capital of my own of 2000 euros following this money management system. But look, imagine that you don't want to use this, that you want to start with 30, so 30 micro lots. So that's three mini lots. You can return 209%. You know, this, you know, it will increase your drawdowns in peak times, but you can return a lot of money. Let's say that you want to add too many lots. Look, it keeps increasing and increasing. This is also just based based of the risk that you wanna you know you wanna go through. I'm pretty much happy with the returns of 30% year on year because I understand that the forex is not get rich quick thingy. It's more like you know start being consistent and then the money will people will find you, people will throw money at you, and you will start managing other people's money which is you know a lot of traders ultimate goal because 30 percent on a million is three hundred thousand dollars you know that's a lot of money but if i'll be trying to flip accounts and double 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 accounts like everybody else you know every most of people are flexing on um, instagram and all of that stuff social media they're doubling accounts every week every month uh, the chances are that quality investors the people who you know will not fall for that bullshit that people want you know to see consistency that they want to see this kind of results that they want to see slow but safe growth and i know 30 percent over a year is not actually slow the s p index in the stock market has historically produced around seven percent over more than 100 years and then here i am uh after a year of hard work my system can roughly produce 30 percent guys with that being said i hope this kind of overview of a system uh actually uh mo motivates you and i invite you to click that subscribe button smash that like button and smash that bell button as well so that you can you know get that notification for every video that we post because there will be a lot of videos i will start journaling uh my trades live every other day or every day as I will be trading and I will be update, updating you with my equity curve, etc., etc. 
If there are any questions whatsoever regarding that system or regarding my type, my style of trading, please do let me know uh, in the comments. Write something down in the comments. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Also, I'm not stopping here. I will add more and more strategies. I will add some swing strategies and I will also add breakout patterns, my some of the trend continu continuation tra strategies, etc. Uh, yeah, with that being said, Thank you very much for sticking until the end of this video and catch you up soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.